Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. Yes, there are actually a lot of bugs, I'm not going to say that there's not a lot of bugs, but overall, in the grand scheme of things, there's not a vast quantity of them, and the worst of them will be patched before Christmas. They've even stated as such on the forum, they're currently working on the, the most annoying bugs, the worst of them, and they want to get them patched before Christmas, and then they'll start working on a more comprehensive patch. And this is standard for Giants. This is what we've come to expect from them over a number of years. They will get the worst of the bugs out of the way very quickly, so that you can then start to enjoy the game. And then a little bit later on, there'll be a much bigger patch released. It will take a fair bit longer. I would expect the second patch to be dropped probably around March, maybe even as late as April. And that's the one that will take care of almost all of the remaining bugs that are in the base game, or at least the ones that they're going to take care of. And then after that, that's when they start working on the major improvements. If they've got some major improvements already planned, they'll probably drop those in with the um, March-April patch as well, but if, they, if they've got stuff already planned. It may be sooner than that, it may be a shorter timeline than that, but at the moment, I'm expecting to see a patch that will get rid of the worst of the bugs for people prior to Christmas. And then after that, things will hopefully improve further as we progress further along. So anyway, Weed Killer does work. We don't have a tank for it at the moment, but we'll just have to wait until we can get a mod for that. And then we can pop that one out. I like the sprayer control system that we've got. That's absolutely fantastic. It works beautifully. Got no issues with that one whatsoever. I'm just going to leave it spraying as we go straight across here so that we can spray the barley as well. We need to get a little bit of um, fertilizer onto this barley again. That's got to be done a little bit later once we've had another growth stage. And we're also going to need to have row crops on to be able to do it. So I'm only doing the one field with the spray as well as the barley. Um, just doing that one over there, the one that we haven't planted yet, because I want to see if the weeds will grow back. The other field, we're going to leave the weeds in it, and we will go and plant that one afterwards. And then once that one has been planted, then we can deal with the weeds sort of a bit later on. So I'm just going to leave this tractor with the stuff hooked into it for now. We'll drive it back into the barn here. I can go hide in there. Look at that. There, he's got a nice little home in there. Perfect. I think that's about enough for today, so let's go to sleep. So we can either control a left, sorry, left shift Z to go to sleep. You've got to be walking around to be able to do it. Or we can go up here and we can do it right there like that. So we'll sleep until morning. So October the 16th is telling us that it is currently a sunny day. And according to that, it is going to stay as a sunny day until mid-afternoon. And then it's going to start raining. There isn't actually anything at the moment that I want. we got no harvesting that we can do. And we've planted the barley that we wanted to plant. We're going to be putting in one field. We're going to put the sorghum, which is the new crop. And in the other field, uh, probably beans so that we don't have to go and get another header. We might put oats in, actually. We might put oats. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so there's nothing really else that we want to do. Now, there is one thing that I want to do, and that is that I want to go over to the garage over here because I believe someone told me, or at least I've seen somewhere on a... Um, I think it was a complaining post on the forum, on the official Giants forum, that they are actually posting real-life adverts on some of the billboards in the game. I don't know if that's a real-life advert or not. If they are, it's going to be for agricultural machinery and stuff like that, and I've got no issues with that, personally, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, there, look, see, there's one of the toys. 
quite cleverly hidden, actually. It, like, you, you wouldn't sort of... It doesn't catch the eye immediately being up there like that. So I need to find a way to get up onto that roof. We might need to get a tractor around here or something like that to be able to get up onto the roof. Um... Can I do it like that? I don't think I can. Maybe I can get onto the fence. It's very difficult. Like, I try to do this Skyrim style so that I'm like climbing onto the sides of things, but it doesn't seem to work. Parkour is never... <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the fence! Parkour's never very easy in Farming Simulator. The game's not really designed with parkour in mind. I can't get through there. There was an invisible wall. The game is definitely not designed with parkour in mind, but, being said, we can do it. There we go. Right, so we managed to parkour our way up here, and there is a sheep. Close enough, though. Press it. Oh, you've got to press it R to find it. Right, nine more sheep to be found. Now, there is also, there's a bird up on that roof, there is also a toy shop somewhere around. And I believe this toy shop, so th there's going to be animals and there's going to be these hidden toys uh, everywhere. At the toy shop itself, that one, I think it's over here somewhere. It's somewhere around here. We just want to run up the main street a bit, and there's going to be a shop up there somewhere. Now, where the rest of these toys and collectibles are, I don't really know. I'd probably have to watch a video of someone finding all the locations. You know, we went into that cavern, and I found two deep in deep underground. Apparently, there are some more there. Right, here we go. Cody's Toy Store. Each one that you find, yeah, look, toys are stray, new homes wanted. Each one of those that we find, we actually, if you get all ten of them, they appear in here in the shop, which is a really nice touch. I actually really like I think that's a really cool thing. So are there any toys around the actual shop? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, so the cavern, that's, that's where I'd like to go. The, 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 the big, the, the deep bit underground that we went to, we kind of, we walked through it. The nearest point of interest that I've got to that one is over here. I want to get up there, and then I want to go back underground there, and there is apparently two more toys that I missed in that area. So I'm just going to run back over there a minute. There we go. Somewhere under here, there are two more that I missed. So quite where they are. There's a little cave here with a ladder. Uh, ah, there we go. There's the first one that we missed last time. Get a bit close. There we go. Press R. Eight more harvesters to be found. So that one was fairly easy to find. It was just hidden in behind here. The other one is apparently further down. I missed that one when I was down here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> I, I literally, I ran right past it. I went through this way, and then there was, like, one hidden down there somewhere. And there's it's right up there. So that's, that's the other one. So there were four of them all together in this cavern down here. And I missed two of them. I thought there was only two in here. I uh, don't know if I want to go anywhere here. Right, the other thing that I'm aware of is that if you follow the river, you can actually... It'd probably be quicker if I go and visit the grain mill first. If you follow the river, you can actually find quite a few sort of along the bridges and things like that. Um, I think there are also a few around the grain mill. Quite a common one that I have discovered previously from sort of looking at this on other maps. I wonder if I can parkour on. Yes, just. And then there's a bit that you can get up there. And then there's a bit that you can get up there. See, they do leave these bits around for helping you out. Just so that you can get up onto the, the various different levels. So you are able to reach all of them. 
You're not going to be left with items that you can't get to. Uh, scramble up onto there. So there's nothing on these bins. My, uh, there, I can see it already. It's up on there. So we've got to climb up this pipe. Very health and safety conscious we are around here. Health and safety is our number one priority. So we've got to come all the way up here. And there is the toy. How are we supposed to even reach that? Oh, that is brilliant. You, you've got to love that. You, you've absolutely got to love that, don't you? That That is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if there's going to be any more up here, but I'm just going to get onto the plank right there. I'm going to walk the plank a little bit there. Eight more tractors to be found. Are there any more up the top? There is a hammer right there. Can I reach that hammer? I can't get through this bit here. It's a shame. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible to get up on top of that platform or not. I don't know. Uh, right, anybody who has found... I know that some of you have actually found the locations of all of the toys... I've got no complaints with you telling me where some of these toys are hidden. Are there any more up there in that grain mill? Uh, I'm wondering if maybe there is something right up on the top platform up there. I'd have to sort of park all my way around a little bit more in order to find it. But I reckon that there, there is a chance that there's something up there. But I'm not going to commit to spending any longer going up around there. I know that searching the bridges and the rivers around the bridges, well, just the rivers in general, will yield results. There we go. See, there's one result already. So get that one. There's eight more plows to be found. And bridges seem to be a pretty good theme. Looking around the bridges, they're not all going to yield something. But the bridges in general, I mean, there are 100 items hidden on the map. So chances are um, you'll find things hidden away in some of them. Something else to keep in mind is that in FS13, you had to find a series, a collection of horseshoes. And the largest field that they had on the map. They had one of the horseshoes smack bang right in the middle of the field. So I'm not sure which is officially the biggest field here. Field 32 looks to be fairly big. 70 and 68. My guess is that it, if there's going to be one in the middle of a field, it would be field 70. That looks to be the bigger of any of them. Let's go and have a look over here. So we've got another little bridge here. I don't see anything on this side. We don't get bridges like this in the UK. I've never seen one. I've never even heard of one in the UK. I'm sure there's going to be one or two somewhere around, but I've never heard of them. But I believe that these are actually fairly common in the US. Um, I don't know why, though. Like, what, What's the reason behind having a covered bridge? Why Is there an advantage to having it covered up like that? Seven more cows to be found. Is, is there any kind of advantage to having a bridge that is covered like that? If anybody watching can explain that little mystery to me, that would be absolutely wonderful. So I'm now going to rush to the animal dealer. I love the fact that there is a cow right there in the race there. That's absolutely fantastic. And I also know for a fact that there are more animals in these pens. Now, I don't know exactly which pens they are in. I just know that there are some more animals somewhere in this. Yeah, there's one. There's one over there. There's a sheep. It does make a lot of sense that there would be several animals around in the cattle yards. Or the, the animal yards, I should say, rather than cattle yards. Ah. Along this walkway, it's not another animal, but there is another one here. So there's a um, spreader right there that we just found. I don't know if there's going to be anything up on the roofs, but this is three things that we've now found at this animal dealership. So I doubt that there's going to be any more. If we're going to be able to get on the roof, it'll be up from there. 
It doesn't look like there's anything else to be found around here. I'm not going to spend very much more time hunting now. We will call it quits. But I, there's just one more thing. I have seen somewhere a stack of several toys together. And I thought they were on a bridge. So I want to check that bridge. And I want to check that bridge. Well, the first bridge has yielded a result. There is a tractor in underneath here that we can go and pick up. Just running along a footpath that runs beside the river from the first bridge down to the second. I'm not going to say there are no toys to be found along this footpath. Instead, I'm simply going to state that I personally haven't found any. I feel that's probably a safe thing for me to say, because if I say there are none, I'm down to be inundated with comments about how many toys there really are there, and I've missed a whole lot. I don't see any under this bridge. So maybe there's some on top of the bridge. Most of the bridges have yielded something. There we go. There is one. I, I was looking up before, and I didn't see that one, but there we go. We now have another sheep. I wonder if there's one over the other side as well. Let's have a look. Uh, nope, nothing more there. Okay, so I've I've found the sheep. That grain mill over there that I'm looking at, I know that there is actually a few items to be found around that grain mill and also around the train yard over here. This one that I did already see some in here previously, and these are actually fairly simple to find. At least two of them are. So we go out onto this side, and first up we go inside the building here, and... Is this the one I've already picked up? It might be one that I've already picked up. Because I thought it was in there. But there's another one. I may have already picked this one up as well then. You go up here on top and there's a trailer right there. Just like that. Seven more trailers to be found. I'm not going to do any more, he says, as he keeps wandering around looking for more. Because once you start doing something like this, you, you just... Right, I won't do any more. I'll just have a quick look over here. I won't do any more. I'll just have a quick look over here. And you're just about ready to give up. Okay, now I really will stop. And then you see one more item. And you're like, oh. Oh, okay. Right, well, I'll just have a quick look over here. And then I won't do any more. There's got to be something here, isn't there? There has got to be something around inside this. I mean, look, look. We, we've got a whole... What is this? Uh, you guys, there's a diamond, isn't it? It's for base... This this is for baseball, isn't it? I think this is... I'm pretty sure this is for baseball. And you call it a diamond. Even though it's not actually a diamond. Because it's curved on that side. It's just like a quarter of a circle. Okay. So, we, we've we found the, the, the sports place. We need to... Ooh, that very cleverly disguised blue tractor on a blue seat. I love that. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, so you're supposed to sit over here on these benches that look really uncomfortable, by the way. And, and we sit here and we go, go sports team. Right, I'm bored with that. That's about the full level of my involvement when it comes to any kind of sports and sports team. There, go local sports team. I've done it. I, I, I did my cheering. What is the local sports team? It is the Elm Creek Wolves. Okay. Have they ever been anywhere near a wolf, I wonder? I doubt it. And... No. Okay. And I was thinking that there'd probably be something out here on the pitch, but there doesn't seem to be. What about over in this side? Nope. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm bored with playing baseball now. Don't know if I can get that one. Out. Oh, yeah, you can just do it like that. Nine more horses to be found. I said I was going to stop doing this. That means I should really stop. Of course, what I meant by stop was go to a completely new location and keep going. Um, I've just gone down here to the feed grain south. The reason I wanted to just... I just wanted to have a quick look at that little lake there. 
There's a couple of lakes. I know at least one of them does have a toy. I've seen that one collected. So we've got six more trailers to find. Let's come over here. I want to get over that fence. So there's a kid's play park here. A few other items around. But this is the kind of place where there would be something hidden. I'm absolutely positive. Got to be something around here. What's that? There's one. Right, in there. Get to it. There we go. Seven more plows to be found. That one was quite well hidden. But, yes, here. I'm sure that there is actually one here on the lake because there are boats on there. There we go. Look, pigs. Nine more pigs. So there are actually pigs to be found. Now, is there anything else on the lake? I just jumped to the bakery uh, there in order to just take a quick peek in the toy shop because there's something that I reckon will have changed now. And there is a cedar. That's a muck spreader. Um, there's a muck spreader to be found right there. There's nothing else around the front of that one. There is actually, I know for a fact that there is more over this way but and down there that I've also found, but I'm not going to do those at the moment. I do want to run over to the toy shop a second. And I want to take a peek in the window of it. And just have a look. See, what I was wondering is if some of these would be coloured in now that we found more of the toys. But that hasn't changed. So it doesn't appear to be any difference at the moment with anything in the toy shop. Um... You can't open the toy shop. You can't go in. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was all I was wondering there, was just whether or not there was going to be any changes to the toy shop regarding um, something extra to show that we've now got additional collections that we're working on. I think that's quite enough of that. So let's go and do that a minute, and we will sleep until 8 a.m. in November now. This is where it's also going to start raining and give it another month and we should start getting some snow on the ground. So we're going to want to allow the snow to accumulate a bit. I'm not sure how quickly it does build up. So we could probably find a job or two to do when it's actually snowing. It's not going to snow now, but it will start snowing in December. So December the 1st, it looks like it's going to be too warm for the snow to actually settle on the ground. But here, December the 16th, um, I'm not sure what the main temperature versus the other temperature stands for, whether it's soil temperature or something different, I'm not quite sure. Um, but we do have, we've got a little bit of rain here in the morning and then there's sunshine all afternoon for November, uh, November the 1st at least. The 16th and then January, February, snow all the way through. So we should end up with a decent bit of snow on the ground. So we will go here shift Z and we will sleep again and it has started snowing it's December the 1st now we've got no weeds have come back in this one I love the fact that the sky is actually taking a slightly brownish hue to it which does happen when it snows for those of you who aren't aware the weeds <coughs> the weeds seem to have several growth stages as well uh, these have grown quite tall now. Definitely a lot different to what they were earlier. And also, if we go and have a look at the growth stages in here, we've only we got one lot of fertilizer on that field up there. And then if we go to hotspots, crop types, growth right there, we've gone sort of part way through on the barley up there. Um, it's going to be a little while still before we're able to do any planting. We've got to go all the way through to March before we can do any planting. So there's not a lot that we can do at the moment. Now, we could install some beehives and we could install some greenhouses, neither of which I really want to do, to be honest. The barley over here needs lime and it needs plowing over here. 
I'm thinking that we could probably get away with putting some fertilizer on that field. So we will skip over to this tractor. And we'll take this one out and we'll go to the garage. So that we can do a little bit of work there. I'm going to speed the time up to 15 times. Just to allow stuff to start hopefully accumulating on the ground. I don't know if December the 1st is going to work for that or not. So I'm just going to bring you over here. We need to change these wheels out. So I want to go there. I want Repairing at the moment is 588. Repairing is a lot more expensive now than it used to be. And I... I, for one, I know that I've I've heard some people really complaining about that, saying that it's it's um, really bad how expensive it is to repair and maintain your machinery. Personally, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think it's a good thing that you do actually have to spend a bit of time, effort, and money on repairing your machinery. I, th I think that's absolutely brilliant. I, I love that little aspect of this game. Um, you, you do actually have to spend some decent money maintaining your machinery. So you can't just have hundreds of machines and it not seri and it not cost you. It's, it's going to... You, you're going to have to work to maintain the things that you have on your farm. And I like that. I think it's giving us a much better balance, personally. I know it's not going to be for everybody. I know that there are going to be those of you who don't like that idea, but I'm sure there will be, if there aren't already, settings that can be used to turn that off. Now, what I want to do here is I want to unload that little bit there so that I can go over here and get another round of fertilizer. So I'm just going to fill this one up. Right there. 1200 litres of fertiliser in here and then we can go and spray the barley. We've got the narrow tyres on. They don't look very narrow to be honest but they should be in theory the ones that stop us from damaging the crop. So I'm about to not that I've got the crop um, issue anyway. Unfold that and then I'm also going to Change the width back to full width, like that. And we can bring this one up here. Right, I don't know if it will allow you to set a partial width and then have the hired help go through and do something with it, which is something that we can test right now. We like to test things. So we've got our second lot of fertilizer going onto this field. So there's not a lot else that we're going to need to do to this one. Doesn't want to go any further than that. That's purely because of the fence we've got in front of us. And the fact that he's just not going to be able to turn around. So we kind of expect behavior like that. So that's nothing particularly unusual. If I press Control Z once like that. It's just going to shorten it. Uh, she will leave that one up so that we can just get an idea very quickly and see if the hired help is going to be able to do this. Right, the hired help doesn't do it. And it's reset it back to full width. So you do, it's only an option if you're going to manually spray to be able to use a partial width on the machine. Now it's not a bad thing. It would be nice if you could set the hired help to do it. So, you know, just for the last one, if you jump on and you see the hired help, especially on those maps that will have much bigger fields, if you've got a run to do down the side of the field, it is going to make a difference. Uh, it will end up making a difference, especially if you're playing on hard settings, because the game now does seem to be a lot less forgiving of mistakes and things like that, especially with, like I was saying, the... Um, increased repair bills and things like that. Um, there's a lot more balance to it. Now, some people don't seem to like the fact that this game now has... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and 
click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.